The call to reopen for business is growing louder around the country and right here in North Texas. The stay at home order did not stop more than 100 people from gathering outside of Frisco City Hall today to send Governor Abbott a clear message open the state. Nicole Jacobs has the story. You guys need a haircut? Shelly Luther's day began with a defiant promise kept to open the doors of her business, Salon a la Mode. For a second day in a row, our salon and other small businesses um, were closed down on March 22nd, and we um, have not had any income since. Friday afternoon, Dallas County Judge Clay Jenkins sent her a cease and desist letter ordering the closure of the salon. But 24 hours later, among more than 100 like minded supporters in Frisco, Luther ripped the letter to shreds. Open Texas now! Open Texas now! The grassroots group Open Texas gathered in front of Frisco City Hall holding signs demanding back their freedom and their ability to work. I'm a realtor and my business has been hurt substantially by this. Everyone seems paralyzed. In the days of social distancing, they stood shoulder to shoulder, some wearing masks, others not. Agreeing on this. I think the Constitution gives us the right to meet like this. The Constitution says we have a right to life and liberty. I have a right to work. Wayne Richard is a small business owner with 11 contract employees. He's concerned about his economy, but also someone else. I have a mother that's 92, and she's living in a retirement place. And so, you know, this is the top of my mind constantly. Is she being exposed to anything that could be dangerous to her? The group now calls for Governor Greg Abbott to turn his attention here, saying they are smart enough to get back to work while also staying safe. Let us open. Let us open now. We're ready to go. Enough is enough. In Frisco, Nicole Jacobs, CBS 11 News.